body positivity means that I will have autonomy of whatever that I feel like doing on my body, about my body, and to my body. And for you to come and be offended by that, sis, bro, check yourself. Check yourself. And I'm living my best life that somehow, somewhere in that topic, and you looking cute and showing your fashion outfits and whatever, and living your life just like any other normal person on social media, that you're promoting being obese in unhealthy ways, I'm posting and consuming social media in the same way that they are doing it and now they think just because I'm fat so it means I'm promoting unhealthy vibes sweetie you can't even see healthy and unhealthy vibes from just looking at a person yeah, let's go. let's let's talk about it actually let's talk about the uncomfortable um, things and the complex things about body positivity so don't be that person who's gonna say Oh, it's because you're promoting obesity. Hey, Yummies! Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, please go ahead and be Yummy5 and be part of our Yummy fam by clicking the subscribe button down below now and the notification bell so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, so today the topic is body positivity. Yeah, I've been saying when I get into this, but it's been a very uncomfortable um, vibe because obviously like the topic is very complex and it's very sensitive so I've really shied away and having been in Cape Town I've really just been focusing on the lifestyle and the adulting aspects of this channel but I thought today why not we're at home we're chilling we're quarantining we're on lockdown so I uh, might as well just get into it so if you want to watch all things body positivity Stick around and let's go. with you this topic was definitely provoked by a conversation I had with someone who basically said they uh, posted a very controversial um, topic on their Facebook page that had th that had a lot to do with um, the politics around body positivity and a fat people and it triggered a lot of people and then we had a conversation and he ended up saying I should check my followers because they made it all fat people or most of them are fat people because they feel like I'm promoting being fat yeah that's what he said and obviously I went on and made my argument and said so are you gonna tell me that if a smaller person posts their life on social media that they're promoting being skinny would you have said that definitely not so he ended up he ended up being flabbergasted and not knowing what to say about the topic after that and I thought actually yeah let's 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 talk about it actually let's talk about the uncomfortable um things and the complex things about body positivity so that's what i'm here to do but before i continue i'll just like to make it clear that my understanding and politics surrounding body positivity to this day have been that your body is positive it should be seen as positive from an individual aspect as yourself and from other people seeing you as positive seeing your body as positive whether you're disabled whether you're part of the lgbti community whether your race whether it's your size etc etc and it is inclusive of every single size that i also need to make clear because i have been asked if body positivity is just mainly for black i mean for for fat people and it's it's definitely not but i'll tell you why the fat people have definitely decided to be in the front line of body positivity it's because it is historically rooted that our bodies have not been celebrated our faces have not been celebrated before and when this happens it's the phenomena of if you've been deprived of something before that when you get it you go hands on on it you will grab with both hands and that's exactly what happened with the body positive movement is because 
we as fat bodies have always felt like we've never been celebrated so people now are starting to use their own platforms to take back their power to have a voice to have a say in how their bodies are being seen how they feel about their bodies live in a world where the lack of representation and the lack of visibility is high so how are you offended by someone using their own platform to take autonomy of how they feel about themselves and that could potentially inspire someone else to feel good about themselves just because it's a bikini just because it's lingerie and you're gonna get offended come on come on check yourself boo -boo. check yourself i'm not disputing that there are bigger things that we need to be tackling beyond feeling good and uh, taking pictures of ourselves in beautiful uh, things that make us feel beautiful there's definitely a lot of things that we can talk about when it comes to uh, body positivity and a lot of uh, complexities that we can unlearn and unpack but let us not make it seem like the power of someone deciding that whatever they feel good in makes them feel good and they can post um, about it is very powerful please people are using their own platforms to decide that they're worth it if i can't go on an ad and i can't go on um a billboard and be shown and be celebrated then let me do it on my platform come on and allow me to allow me to and allow people to do and celebrate themselves as they see fit don't come with your own narratives about how they should be doing it and while we're there i'd just like to appeal to the people who always get offended by seeing a fat person in a bikini or lingerie or always tell them you don't have to wear lingerie or bikini to be body positive stop it right there because most powerful because you are deciding that you want to feel sexy in whatever you're wearing and if it means that it's a lingerie or a bikini then do that and it's important because for so long we've never seen fat people in bikinis we've never um, seen fat people in lingerie so you can come with your own offense offended notions and say that you don't have to uh, do that in order to be body positive because body positivity means that I will have autonomy of whatever that I feel like doing on my body about my body and to my body and for you to come and be offended by that sis bro check yourself check yourself check the fact that for the longest time growing up I had to endure people telling me oh but you can't wear that a bikini what, what do people wear at, at the beach what what does I wear at the beach just because I'm fat now I mustn't wear beach wear I don't understand <laughs> let me understand because I really I really don't I really don't have a clue and I'm telling you that the fact that people choose to wear what they want to wear wherever, whenever they want to wear it and they can be bikinis and um, lingerie it's the most powerful thing about body positivity because for the longest time fat bodies have, nev have never been in ads fat bodies have never um, advertised lingerie fat bodies have never uh, been seen on swimwear illustrated and those things are slowly but surely shifting and that should be normal like that should be normal because i'm normal i'm just like a normal any other person who is just the opposite body type that i i am so how are you getting offended by that how um, baby girl so moving right along i also had um an interview today about um my navigating social media and my body positive uh, theme on my social media etc so i thought actually i could use some of these questions to start this conversation and make this a segment because i'm tired it's time it's time to get into this topic it's time to move as well by moving with this movement i mean we need to get to a point where these bodies that are not seen as the normative yardstick of beauty need to be seen as that it should be normal and i made the example of you know um human beings when they're not used to something they normally act very uncomfortable so for example like when you see a blind person for the first time you almost like you know that 
that vibe comes through but the moment you spend more time with them you realize ah it's just a normal person like any other person and this is why moving with the conversation moving with the physical acts of body positivity moving with uh posting pictures is just as important because it's showing people this is normal if any other person who's not my size can do it i can do it as well and i feel like we're still in a stagnant position where people are still uncomfortable by seeing a fat person wearing cute clothes for example then all of a sudden you're promoting being obesity vibes you're promoting being unhealthy how make it make sense how <laughs> so we really need to move with this we really need to move even i was even uh, making an example of like personally for me it's even gotten to a point where i don't even want to compensate for being who i am i don't want to say i don't want to write a caption for example that says you know what i was bullied but now i'm standing strong for myself i wanted to show generally i don't want to constantly be i don't want to be constantly be in a situation where i constantly need to be overcompensating the fact that i am who i am and i want to live my best life and you questioning if i really love myself because fat people are not supposed to love themselves and obviously i'm speaking for fat person because i am considered as part of the fat plus size community but like i said earlier in the video that there are different groups of body positivity and i can only speak for my uh, experiences and i'm sure it is very similar to other groups of uh, body positivity so you know, it's really a case of i need to move like it's there and it's happening the, the movement is happening but we need to move we need to move to a place where I am normal boo boo like it doesn't even shock you that I'm at the beach and I'm wearing a bikini or I'm posting about it on my social media it's normal why can't I do it like why are you choosing to 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 see a smaller person than I am as positive but not my body ask yourself and finally I'd like to appeal to the people who think that because you're big girl and you look cute and you're happy and you tell people look here i am i'm happy and i'm doing my best life that somehow somewhere in that topic and you looking cute and showing your fashion outfits and whatever and living your life just like any other normal person on social media that you're promoting being obese in unhealthy ways i'm posting and consuming social media in the same way that they are doing it and now they think just because I'm fat, so it means I'm promoting unhealthy vibes. Sweetie, you can't even see healthy and unhealthy vibes from just looking at a person. That's one. Number two, we're all consuming social media for various reasons. Don't be ignorant. Don't be that person. I know for a fact that my positivity and my uh radiance in terms of positivity people have really been drawn to that and they come on my page for that they come for fashion inspiration if it happens that it's big big girls it's because they feel seen they feel uh visible seeing me being able to do that and they feel empowered to be able to do that as well so don't be that person who's gonna say uh it's because you promoting obesity because it's not i'll come for you <laughs> jokes but i'll come for you because you're being ignorant thank you Subscribe.